Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another Smash 4 set with Areem. This is another amiibo set, as this time Areem is going up against Diana, his Zero Suit Samus amiibo. Looks like they're going straight into Smashville, he's not doing random stage picks this time. Or maybe he will afterwards. I don't know. Whatever works. But this matchup has uh, not a whole lot going for Falcon, in my opinion, because Samus, or Zero Suit Samus, just has a lot of projectiles and just things that completely outmatch Falcon's hitboxes. But, as I have said in previous videos, Falcon just goes really fast. And also, this is an amiibo, so maybe we'll see exploding shields again. That freaked me out enough the last time. I'm still not over it. I'm still not. I'll never be over it. You can't make me. Anyway, so Diana is already showing extreme dominance in this in this match so far, as, look at that, she just upbees Irene straight off the stage while sitting at 16% for herself. Not too high, this is not looking good for Irene in this specific uh, match right here. Weird little down B in the neutral right there uh, from Diana's part, a bit strange. Irene though, just trying to find a way to get get at least like a grab, maybe some strings, but having a really hard time getting into Diana's defenses, so Diana with the forward tilt there tries going for the Zare. Never thought I'd have to say that. But uh, Samus and Zero Suit Samus do both have Zares. There I'm I'm not entirely sure what they're good for aside from keeping some uh, keeping opponents spaced, but hey. So, Irene now at 118% second stock, doesn't even have Diana in cure range yet, first stock. Although, as I said that, it looks like he was about to get a knee kill right there. That would have been hilarious and, like, opposite commentator's curse, I think. Anyway, Irene now at 120, very good kill percentage if Diana is able to land an up B. Well, Diana sits at 102, but catches Reem's slightly high recovery with the side smash right there. Meaning that Diana takes game one with two stocks, I believe. So that was that was a full two stocks going into that. Okay. So we'll have to see if Reem plans on switching. Looks like he is going Ike? Nope. No. Nope. Going Fox. Okay, so Fox definitely... It is definitely the better the better matchup against uh, Zero Suit Samus due to the fact that Fox can well first of all Fox has Reflector and Fox is just a little bit faster I think um, I believe I believe it goes Sonic Fox and then Captain Falcon so it's the <laughs> like how two animal characters are the fastest. Anyway, Irim already managing to keep himself a little safer while dealing damage to, uh, to Diana. Not as extreme a lead on Diana's part this time. And... Oh, okay. A strange thing just happened right there with the amiibo. Not exactly sure what Diana was doing there. Uh, did... Did she glitch out? Did she not have a jump? What happened? Well, regardless, this puts Irim in a very good lead with Fox right now. At 76% on his first stock, while Diana keeps building up percentage with these U-tilts. Irene getting like 5 U-tilts in there before continuing that string. Is able to dodge the grab, gets a U-tilt to up smash. Almost killing. This is, yeah, this is definitely looking like a much better matchup for Irene. Um, now that he has switched to Fox, he's just able to get in so much faster, able to scare Samus away. And those utils were ridiculous. But, can't speak too soon as Reem is at 110%. Definite kill range if Diana is able to get an up B or a side smash. Going for the back throw right there. Irene just gets back on the stage with the side B. And there's the side smash. Taking Irene's first stock. But at 125%, this seems pretty solidly to be Irene's game. And right as I say that, Irene goes for the up tilt up tilt no up air taking diana's second stock with Reem at zero percent first stock is that jv2 is it jv2 i don't know if that's jv2 is that what you call a jv2 <laughs> anyway that means that Reem takes game two it is currently one to one as Reem switches to ganondorf why do you do this why do you do this Reem? <sighs> he did this in the set against life and it was a I mean, he didn't lose, but this should not... 
This should not work for Ganon. Okay? Like, normally I don't just say who has the advantage in a matchup straight out, but this one should not work for Ganon. ZSS is faster, has projectiles, just... Oh my goodness. And Ganon's a heavy, so the combos have an easier time landing. But look, look, as I'm saying this, Arima's at 21% and has Diana at 79. No. <laughs> I think, I think it's just... Uh, top level, top level Ganondorf's people. Just, just high, high level Ganondorf play can beat anything 80 to, 80 to 20. My goodness. And with a back air right there, Diana loses her first stock. This is very much in Areem's favor, as he tries going for the, uh, chain grab, I guess. Do you call that a chain grab? It's a command grab. Anyway, Diana with the Paralyzer there, able to follow it up with a grab to back throw. Almost has Reem in kill range, but Ereem doesn't give a rip as he goes for the suicide side B. Why? Why does this, why does this work? Uh, <laughs> Ganondorf wins the ZSS matchup 80-20. If you think otherwise, you can money match Ereem. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyhow, all of that being said, I certainly hope you enjoyed this set. Highlight, um, Ganondorf? Ganondorf is the highlight of the set. Holy crud. Once again, certainly hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Leave in the comments below some critique. I am always trying to improve my commentary, both in entertainment value and just my knowledge of the metagame. So, any critique on that, leave in the comments below. Once again, certainly hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Golden Warrior, signing out.